It's a big moment for any musician when you record your first album. It's even more special when you have as much talent as this one. This is Sophie Hiller. Something I have got to tell you And it will wait another day I used to have so much love for you Now it's all blown away So I'm here with um, the next big thing in London uh, Sophie Hiller. Hi Sophie. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, really good. So you've had loads of videos on YouTube. You've got mm -hmm. lots of fans from that. For those people who don't know you, tell us a bit about yourself. Well, um, I'm a singer from London, born and bred. Um, I grew up in a family full of singers and musicians, so I kind of had it forced upon me from a very young age. Um, but you love it, right? I absolutely <laughs> yeah. love it, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not here against your no, will. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, yeah, I got into singing from when I was really little, and uh, I've since I was about 11, I've been kind of getting up at gigs and singing, and... Then when I was about 13, I, I told my dad that I wanted to sit down in the studio and do some work, and he was like, oh, okay. So um, it kind of all kicked off there, really. Because your dad's a musician, isn't he? Yes, yeah, he is. He's a, a singer and a songwriter, and we do a lot of um, our songs we write together, which is cool. We've got a really good kind of working relationship. That's good. So is, that, is that a little bit weird sometimes? Um, it's not. I have to be normally quite vague about who my lyrics are referring to. He'll sure. sometimes go, who's that about? And I'll go, oh, it's just hypothetical but no it's great we get on really well we have a real laugh in the studio so it's good so you've had music uh, around you your whole mm -hmm. life um, and then it just went on to a whole different level because you've been touring with Tom Jones right? I have yes what was that like it's it's been unbelievable it's really just been the experience of a lifetime and it's still going I'm off all around Europe for the rest of the summer which I, I can't wait to do because it's just it's so fun and, and what did you learn from Tom? Anything in particular? Well, he's just such an unbelievable vocalist and he's so passionate about what he does. And it's just amazing to see someone who's been in the business for so long and he just still loves it and still wants to go out and gig every night. And I think that's such a great attitude to have. Mm. So. so now, after all that touring, you're back in England and you're doing your first studio album at the church. How do you feel about that? I'm so excited to be here. It's just such a gorgeous studio. I can, when I came to see it a couple of months ago, I was just like, this has to be the place where we do the album because it's just brilliant. It's got such a great vibe. And I can't believe it's all kind of coming together. I mean, it's some of the songs I wrote when I was 15, so it's great that they're finally going to be sounding exactly how I want them to sound. So it's really exciting. And this is where the magic's going to happen. Wow. Hopefully. It's you. It is, it is, isn't it? It's a great vibe. And so what have we got in here? We've got, we've got every uh, instrument you need, right? Under the sun, yeah, of course. We've got the glockenspiel. You can't make an album without a glockenspiel. Yeah, I'm, I'm classically trained in glockenspiel. Oh, are you? Big time, big time. Um, Do you want to show us a few tricks? Or I don't want to show off. No, no, no okay. Sure. <laughs> um, what's made you wait till now to record the album? Um, it's a good question. I mean, it's been an ongoing process of getting all the tracks recorded and writing with different musicians and different people and it just now seemed like the right time where I kind of knew what I wanted to sound like, I know what my sound is now and I've managed to meet some fantastic musicians along the way that I'm really happy to be able to work with so it just seemed like kind of the right time to have it all down. So. And people who don't know your sound as you yes. say, um, what is it, what are you hoping to create from this album? It's kind of a big mix of of things. I mean, I was influenced by loads of music when I was growing up, a lot of it kind of the old greats that I heard from my dad and all my family. Um, got big influences from people like Aretha Franklin and Stevie Wonder and people like that. So it's a big kind of Motown soul influence and there's a bit of jazz in there and it's obviously got a, a slight modern twist on it. So hopefully it's quite a new sound. What do you think is the most important instrument in, in your music? I guess because of the style, uh, the piano is fairly important for some of the tracks, especially because um, when I write, when me and my dad write together as well, it's, it's all done on piano, so I suppose if you're stripping it back to how it was originally created, yeah. I guess the piano. But also the guitar is quite, quite big in most of the tracks as well, so I couldn't, I couldn't possibly choose. <laughs> so we couldn't come here and have a chat with you without you singing one of your songs for us. What song are you going to sing for us? 
Uh, it's called The Breakup, and it's kind of, I guess, quite self-explanatory from the title. <laughs> it's about a breakup. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of funky one. It's um, I wrote it quite recently. And is it a boohoo song or is it a screw you song? It's I didn't mean for that <laughs> oh, to rhyme. I like the rhyming. Yeah? <laughs> Should you want me to write a few songs for the album? The poet. It's kind of the latter, really. It's kind of an upbeat, almost like, it's quite a powerful kind of, I don't care about you anymore kind of thing. So, it's, yeah, it's cool. I like it. I got to tell you, and it won't wait another day. I used to have so much love for you, now it's all blown away. No good and goodbyes, they just make me cry. That's the reason I am walking away. All the hanging up and whispering numbers that I didn't know. Shame I had to read your messages What I found was such a blow So stop your pleading And saying you needed me You lost all your brownie points long 